Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do click like, share, and subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, it's a link in the description box below. Please keep in mind that some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Hi, everybody in the chat. All right, you guys. So this reading is going to be a little different. I thought I would change it up. Um, this is going to be why you broke up, why the relationship ended, and we're going to take a look at the current energy of the relationship, what the root cause of the split, this person's true feelings for you right now, their intentions towards you right now, the future of the relationship, and what's the best step for you to take, okay? So let's get started, okay? Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please tell Virgo what is the current energy of this relationship at this time after a breakup. What is the current energy at this time after this breakup? Okay. So, the sun in reverse. Okay. Well, the sun is still a good card, but in the reverse, it's kind of like um, a feeling of, well, the sun is setting on this right now. It's not all the way set all the way you know night yet but it looks like it's kind of i'm just hearing downer kind of a well actually i heard debbie downer so maybe somebody's name is debbie but i'm just it's like a like the sun is going down right now okay things aren't looking as bright or as cheerful as they could be at this time there's also a sense of like there's a delay something was put on hold okay um and someone is being ignored. So maybe you both are ignoring each other. Neither one is talking. There might be some ghosting or uh, maybe there wasn't any closure and it just feels like it got put on hold. And yeah, somebody's kind of wondering like what the heck is going on and trying to maintain a sense of balance. It's like, okay, does this person have another option? Did, you know, um, are they talking to somebody else? Uh, weighing many options so I feel like the energy right now is kind of like oh not sure what to do it's not so you know the energy right now of this relationship is not sure what to do weighing the options do it flip the sun card back up in the upright and try to be have a happy joyous outcome and try to make it successful or and I feel like either this might either be you, it could be the other person, or it could be both of you, it, or do we just let it, let the sun set and just be done? It, it feels like it's still being weighed at this time. So I, you know, at Virgo, I just kind of get a sense that there's this energy of like, it's in delay right now, not sure what to do. Nobody's talking, nobody's saying anything, okay? So that's Leo energy, two of pentacles, feels like Capricorn energy feels like Capricorn so it could be a Capricorn okay it's decision there's like it's like hmm. maybe somebody is there might be someone second guessing if breaking up was a good idea for some of you that energy playing out or and also I'm not sure somebody really wants this to be over even if you know there was an ending okay so things are like it feels like hanging in the balance right now okay um, if you are sure that it's done, then the other person is not. Or if you ended it with somebody, the other person doesn't want it to end. If they ended it, um, you might not want it to be fully over. So there's a little bit of, uh, so it could be for some of you, if you're on the cusp of Leo and Virgo, um, I feel like the message is more towards you that you may not be sure what to make of something right now of the of this like what happened okay so the current energy is it's not fully it's not fully over but it's decision mode like okay sh should I start dating somebody else or should I wait and see if maybe the sun comes back up again yeah that kind of energy so show us Spirit, show Virgo what is the root cause of the split. The root cause of 
the split. Okay, things are out of balance. Temper, temperance. I was going to say temperaments. I don't, that's not even a word. Um, there's disruption, some type of disruption um, or chaos. Okay, Sagittarius energy. Uh, a lot of chaos. The root cause of the split is two people were not in alignment. There was a lack of balance, harmony. All right, let me see here. What else can you show, Virgo? The root cause of this split. Why was this... Why was there a lack of balance or harmony? Both of you not being in alignment or being on the same page, a lack of compatibility, a lack of chemistry. Other information. Show Virgo. What else clarified the root cause of the split? Oh, okay. There might have been this in and out energy. Somebody was um, coming in for the passion, but the passion was not sustainable long term. Okay, so things got out of balance. There's an energy, it's also Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. There's an energy of somebody might have just been coming in for a physical, intimate connection and nothing more. Okay, um, and that kind of one, I feel like one person wanted something more long-term and the other just wanted to be in that Knight of Wands energy where they're in and out with physical pleasures and lust, that kind of energy. So I feel like that's the root cause. That's why something ended here. Two people not being in alignment, okay? And for others, the relationship was built on passion on both sides and again, Long-term passion is not sustainable. Everybody has to have like a downtime and a break. <laughs> I felt like they told me it was just too much in and out, too much in and out energy. Okay. All right. Let's see. What are, what are the, what are their true feelings for Virgo right now? What are these, what are, what is this person's, what are their true feelings for Virgo right now? Oh, wow. Six of Cups. You see how that just flew out? I don't know if you saw it. You could hear it for sure. Um, wow, Virgo. I feel like this person is um, thinking about all the, the good times, thinking about the innocence, thinking about what you brought to the relationship. This person wants to reunite with you. Okay. Um, there may, oh, my light went out. There may also be, uh, they're thinking about the past and they're in their feelings about the connection at this time. And they're feeling very drawn and connected to you. Okay. Um, they're revisiting past memories. I don't feel like this person is living in the past. I don't think they're being, uh, or they have like unrealistic expectations about reconnecting. Um, but I do feel with that six energy, that six represents harmony and appreciation. And I feel like this person um, is, they're, they're feeling wise, or they're truly appreciating what you guys had together, okay? Um, and that six of cups is also innocence and sincerity. So yeah, I feel like they're thinking about giving you a gift. They're really all up in the nostalgia and just remembering. And they're going through their day and their feelings are cropping up about the time when you were together in the past. And they have a very... So the Six of Cups is a soulmate card. So they feel like you are their soulmate. You are their person. Okay, show me another card for Virgo. Okay, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Um... They also feel like that you might be a little bit aggressive <laughs> or that your anger or they are, well, either that you're aggressive and you have anger towards them, but they also feel kind of angry at themselves. Okay. And their feelings for you is anger. <laughs> um, why? Why are they angry at you? Um, they, so they're giving off cold vibes at this time. This person is conflicted, very conflicted, because they're showing disinterest and apathy 
and coldness towards you. That's how they feel about you right now. But yet at the same time, they're reminiscing on all the good stuff. So this person is kind of like, it might be them here, the current energy, because they don't know what to do. They, they want to reconnect with you. They want to have some type of reunion, but they're not sure if this relationship is completely over and, and they're like in this way in their options. Should they reach out to you and see if you guys can try to work things out after the breakup or should they just let the sun go down on this situation, this relationship and not try to rehash it again with you. Okay. Um, wow. So that queen of wands and well, the Six of Cups, that's Scorpio energy. The Queen of Wands is Leo energy. So again, double Leo here. But yeah, Virgo, I mean, this person is like conflicted. They are very conflicted since things have ended. Okay. Since this situation, I feel like they might be trying to figure out they should backtrack. They're reminiscing that, you know, they're romanticizing all the good parts of the relationship they want to come flying back in and try to reconnect but they're also angry maybe angry at themselves if they ended it or angry at you if you ended it and um yeah a lot of conflicting energy here with this person wow eight of swords they feel trapped their emotions how they feel about you they feel restricted they feel closed off and cut off from you they might be angry because they can't get in touch with you or you're not reaching out to them. Um, but they are also kind of victimizing themselves as well. So I don't know exactly what that means. They might be feeling like it's all their fault um, or feeling like maybe it's your fault. But ee, the Eight of Swords is tough because that's kind of like this person's in isolation and they are imprisoning themselves. They're trapped in their thoughts uh, yeah, I feel like this person, I just keep hearing, very conflicted. It's like they want to come back. They want to try to resurrect, have a reunion, try to get back together with you. But they also are uh, resentful and angry and towards you. Um, if, if there were restrictions, you couldn't get together. Or they put restrictions in place, or you did. They're really like... <laughs> I would not want to be in this person's shoes. I can tell you that right now. Okay, let me see. Well, those are their feelings for you. There's definitely love and there's anger. And there's a lot of like negative thinking. Okay, um, let's take a look and see what are their true intentions towards you right now. What are the, what are this person's, what are their true intentions towards Virgo? Their true intentions. Huh, okay. Well, they want to talk to you, Virgo. They want to have that conversation. Um, they want to cut through all the bull and try to have some type of, um, have a talk. Okay, that's what that Ace of Swords is. This person is coming in. Um, they want to try to sort out whatever the conflict was, overcome the conflict, uh, gain some clarity at least to see if you're still interested or if there can be any victory here to try to come back and resurrect this relationship, okay? So I feel like their intentions towards you right now is to communicate and you may get a message from them, okay? They're not trying to win you over. I feel like they just wanna talk, clear the air or give you some truth or um, have you give them some truth about, I just keep hearing what happened what happened? Why, why did you give up? Why didn't this work out? Um, why was it not okay to just have an in and out relationship? It was, they might've said, okay, well, we're not really compatible, but we can still, you know, have an intimate relationship. Why that didn't work? What was going on with you? Did you want more? Um, if you did, you know, do you still want that? You know, I feel like this person is, um, Hmm. I don't know. It just feels like they want to talk. They want to sort things out with you. Okay. And that I feel like is their intention towards you. So what's the future nature of this relationship? Wow. Okay. Ten of cups. Hmm. 
I feel like there's going to be a happy ending here with this person, there, a conversation, okay? Um, also, I wanna just point out that Six of Wands in the reverse, this person um, it may also tell you that, they may tell you that either they were, um, Hold on a second. That's so strange. I'm just getting this message. They will tell you that they left because they felt like a failure and that they couldn't give you what you needed and that they gave up and that they didn't have the confidence. Even the six of wands in the reverse could be a little bit of ego egotism. Uh, is that a word? Okay. Um, that they were all up in their ego. And then it could be reversed. They might say that about themselves, but they might might say that about you. So there's definitely a conversation. Um, if you if you will talk to them and if they will talk to you, where I do feel like their intention is to clear the air about why this victory <laughs> in this relationship didn't happen. Okay. And it could have a lot to do with just the fact that. There was so much passion that it burned out. And I feel like this person still has that passion for you and maybe you still have it for them. Maybe not. I know some of you are in the chat like, no, give me new love, new love. And that's fine. You don't just talk about pizza. Um, maybe, it, this might be for somebody else, but the outcome of this connection is showing up here as a positive, the 10 of cups. And that always gives me a sense of having a reunion, getting back together, um, have reaching a place of commitment, love, and support. So, yeah, you know, Virgo, okay, King of Pentacles in the reverse. So, you could have been connecting with an earth sign, Taurus, another Virgo, uh, Capricorn. I feel like this person is very greedy for that, and maybe even some of you, okay. I feel like this person is jealous. Their jealousy is going to make them commit because the thought of you being with someone else is not something that they can live with. And I feel like they had an opportunity to make that work, but they weren't able to do that. Maybe they were deeply insecure, lacking that confidence, like I said, or all up in their ego. But if you, um, you know, you guys are separated right now, some of you might be dating others. And I feel like this person, even if they don't know it, they know that there's a chance that they might lose you 100% to somebody else. Yeah, that's tough. Okay, they coming in to relieve the anxiety of that. The Nine of Swords reversed. Yep, definitely. I feel like this person, <laughs> they want healing. They want relief. They're an extreme torment that you might um, actually replace them or go with someone else or find someone else better than them. I feel like this person really wants to try to um, work up to the challenge and meet your needs. Okay. Um, so that's going to require a conversation first. You know, um, the talk is going to have to be had first to sort everything out. If you so wish, if you don't wish so, then, you know, move on. But I feel like that's the energy playing out. Now, what's the best step here for you to take right now, Virgo? What is the best step for you to take going forward? Oh, and I also want to take a look and see when this conversation might take place. The best step for Virgo to take going forward. Okay. Wow, four of wands. Oh boy, reunite. That's a message. Hear them out. Talk to them or allow them to talk to you. That four of wands is very strong in, in regards to um, a homecoming, a reunion, family, friends. Stay close to your family and friends, your support group. Stay stable. Okay, stay balanced. That's the 1111. So, you know, if this person initiates, which is the Ace of Swords, is a card of initiation and clarity and communication, I feel like you can hear them out. You can hear what they have to say. I wouldn't uh, just ignore them. But if it's, 
if it's something that you're just like, yeah, no, we've had the talk and it's not going to happen and I'm just moving on, then so be it. Then you move on, you click off the reading and <laughs> go find new love somewhere. Get off the tarot card readings and get out there in your life and go find a new love. But I feel like if you're going to have a communication with them or you're going to allow them to talk, um, you need to be very balanced and be sure of yourself and what you want, right? Seek that circle of support. You might even agree to start dating again. Um, your advice, but you're also advised to keep your options open as well until this person makes that move to come in with those bloody stumps. Okay. Um, stay close to your friends and the people who support you, one, two, or three people who can give you good, strong advice. All right, let me see. When is this person going to come in and have this conversation? When is the talk going to happen? When is the first initiation of communication going to happen? Okay, King of Swords. All right, so you could be connecting with an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Um, this person is going to initiate the conversation. Okay. Um, hmm. It's going to happen in January, okay? <laughs> I know some of you are like, drop the mic. I'm out, not waiting that long, but that's fine. Some of you, it's it may even start between now and January, leading up to January to actually have the talk. But yeah, this person's going to come in with some clarity and truth, okay? Um... For some of you, this might have already happened in September. I'm also picking up. Now, for some of you, um, I will tell you if your birthday is between September 2nd and the 11th, okay, um, this person you're going to be hearing from them in January, okay, of 2023. Let me see. What's for others? And for others, um, you're going to hear from this person in Capricorn season. So December 22nd through January 19th. Okay. <clears throat> That's when the communication is going to come through. That's when everything is going to start rebuilding again or the cycle comes back around. Okay. Um, let me see what your messages of love are here for you. Messages of love for Virgo. What are Virgo's messages of love? Mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson and apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. So this person's coming in to apologize with that sincerity and just try to have that conversation with you. Either tell you that they made a mistake or that... Um, you made a mistake letting them go, <laughs> which would be pretty damn arrogant for someone to say. But, you know, people have said worse, I guess. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Okay. So, wow, Virgo. I mean, holla. <laughs> if you want it, great. There it is. If you don't, you know, get yourself out there. All right. Let me see what your... Let's see the names here. What names are we coming up with? Okay, someone's name starts with a C. The letter C. Okay. Also seeing someone near um, a cemetery. Visiting a cemetery. All right, I'm hearing the name Kim. <clears throat> I'm also hearing Michelle or Mike, Michael, okay, um, I heard the name, oh, that's a weird name, Mariaz, Mary, Mary, Mary as, Mary, Mary as, big time, Mary as, I don't know what that means, Mary as, that's a name, or it's two names. Okay. Aaron. 
or Andrea. Wow, okay. Someone is, I'm hearing Mexico. Okay, I'm hearing Mexico. Okay. Arkansas. Just heard of Arkansas. Okay. Somebody drives an SUV. Um, it's blue. A blue SUV, to be specific. Okay. Somebody's an athlete. Well, actually, they just told me jock. <laughs> so... Um, I'm going with athlete because I don't think that my spirit guides are educated. <laughs> okay. Um, Jonah or Joe. Jonah. Okay. All right. Jim or Jim or Jimmy. Jennifer. Okay. Um, somebody likes the color pink. I just heard someone's like their favorite color. I'm not just, oh, I like pink. No, favorite color is pink. Okay. And someone tells jokes. It's a very funny person. Likes to tell jokes. Okay. Uh, someone drives a pickup truck. Someone has a nice ass. <laughs> someone thinks someone has a really nice butt. It's not a starfish, but okay. I just heard Pam. All right, P and the letter H. Oh, somebody might have a PhD or the letter P or the letter H. Okay. And then they're just telling me um, PNC Bank. <laughs> PNC Bank, okay. And I hear chimes. I'm hearing chimes right now. The sound of chimes. Okay. Oh, goodness. Was that a chime? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. And somebody, okay, that's weird. Somebody says, uh huh, a lot. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. And someone calls themselves a he. They just say, he, he, I'm a he. I go by he. Okay. Okay, and now I'm getting a mig. They're telling me mig. Uh, or maybe it's, all right, at first I was hearing mig fighter. M-I-G, I don't, I'm not, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, a mig fighter and then I'm also hearing Meg like Megan Meg okay let me get some signs for you guys all right Aries Pisces Cancer Gemini Oop. all right Virgo Cancer Aquarius Pisces Okay, Taurus, the Virgo again, Leo, Capricorn, one more. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, and Taurus again. Okay, let's see. The birth dates. Okay, all right. September 4th, 7th. September 20th. Um, somebody's 52. Okay, I'm getting the number 712 or 217, and I'm also picking up May 20th. Okay, Leo just fell out. Okay, 1970. Um, somebody is 59 or born in 1959. I'm hearing the number. All right, they're giving me 146. And I'm also picking up, did I say that already? Um, September 21st and August 23rd, okay? And also 1969. All right, one more. 
on November 8th, 310-49 at 601 or 610. Okay, let's just get a couple of moon pie messages and then I'm going to close out the reading and tomorrow I will be back here for your weekend love messages. can't believe the week is already almost over. It's almost Thanksgiving. Yay! Okay. Other messages for Virgo. Other messages. What else do you want to tell Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Also, somebody's 28. Okay. New chapter. Look back on the past one more time. One more time. If you must, but only to help write the next new pages of your book. Travel, explore the world, space, the seas, the psych. Learn, meet new people, live your best life, and allow the past to cycle out. A new journey is ahead. Take someone on with you or go solo, but go. Okay. Also, a deeply loving male showing up here, male or female, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone who has a true heart is making a love offer to you. Okay. And for somebody, this could be um, a breakup because of an argument. It may not be... Like it could be a separation because there was an argument and somebody coming back in that wants to talk, okay? And clear the air and sort through the argument, get back on track and move things forward, okay? So just keep that in mind that the energy can really just, you know, it's why you two split, you know, why there was a breakup, why there was a separation, but this is why I feel like is is going on here. There was um, either a disagreement or... <laughs> something came to a halt and there might have been a lack of alignment there might have been a lot of kiss and make up break up kiss and make up break up and like this cycle that keeps re repeating and i feel like somebody doesn't want to do this cycle anymore it's just being on this roller coaster of up and down and it's too much all right virgo so that's going to be your message short and sweet for tonight i hope that that was helpful and gave you some insight and again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Go check that out. And also um, hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. I would greatly appreciate that. All right, you guys, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic evening and day. Bye.